I am going to show you how I set up a glam living room and never step foot once at a store. What's up, Glam Squad? This is your girl Dalu. Welcome to Glam Up Your Life, your home for home decor, business, and fashion. If you are new to this channel, hit the notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Okay, guys. Today it is the big reveal. I'm showing you my glam living room. Last week I showed you how I set up my family room, which was very fun, stylish, and functional. Today I'm showing you the sophistication part of the house. Guys, believe it or not, everything in this living room was purchased online. At the way, except for the small vases and things like that. Are you ready? The pink flower and the wall art must look very familiar to you guys. I sat in this corner all the time to shoot my video. I bought this wall art from Z Gallery. Look at all the blank there is in this wall art guys. You must know I'm in love with it. This stylish sofa bought from Wayfair. The name of the designer is Everly Quinn. I really like this designer because they sell some of the most stylish, modern, comfortable and affordable product. But what I like about them the most, once the product is gone, it's gone. They do not make a lot of the product. And the items are great quality too. This designer sofa was less than a thousand dollars. The pillows are either from Home Goods or Macy's Backstage. The pink pillow is so plush, I had to get it. Coming up is one of a kind and table. It is one of my favorite thing in the entire house. You know I love my things. It is shaped like an engagement ring. That's what the designer had in mind when it was designed. And on top of it, I have a tray that I bought from HomeSense and this vase that I got from Home Goods or Macy's Backstage. The table is from Wayfair by Villa Arlo Interiors. This gold and white wall art is from Big Lot and the golden wall art, I don't remember where I bought it from, but I remember it was not expensive, but it's very unique. Look at it, guys. The curtains, I don't remember where I got them from. Very elegant. Of course, they have a little bit of glitz. Over there in this loft seat, I have one medium-sized pillow and two small pillows that I bought many, many years ago in there. But you must know where I got this loft seat by now. I do not remember the name of the designer. I will see if I can leave the link below. The storage is from Ikea, and the lamp is from Macy's Backstage. The Canva on the wall is from Macy's Backstage as well, and in between, I have a regular mirror. In the corner, it's another table that I bought from Wayfair, another great designer. I think, it's the, I think the name is Mercier. I, and that big vase is from Home Goods. I started receiving compliments at the store for that vase. Uh, it's, it's a very beautiful one. In front of the window are these two chairs that I bought from Wayfair as well. Initially, when I bought them, they were for my bedroom. A couple of days after they came, I sat in one of them and it broke. They called Wayfair. They sent another one back to me immediate, immediately. I got it in two days. Then I realized how fragile they were, so I brought them down in the in this living room since we will not use them much down there. Never sat on them for two years. The other day, as I was shooting a video, I got too excited. I sat on them. Guess what? It broke down again. So disappointed. As much as they were beautiful, I would not recommend them. The name of the designer is Miss Tana. This table I bought from Macy's Backstage. 
and on top of it i have those some of my shimping glasses that were not able to fit on my cabinet so they are there for now and this flower you may you you may recognize it it was part of my diy for my holiday decoration yeah so i'm just gonna leave it there it does go with the um area all of the decoration on top of the table they are either for macy's backstage or home goods so yes today it's all about home goods macy's backstage and wayfair guys don't worry amazon is coming up next that's right my friends this little baby of mine is from amazon i'm telling you it is so petite it is so cute so stylish so unique when i saw it on the site i had to get it guys the red chandelier in the space is everything it can take your place from down there to up there so fast that's why i will be showing you guys chandeliers that i have in the house and they were so inexpensive but they did so much for the place i can wait to share them with you guys you are going to love them so if you really want to see this video please say yes down in the comment below because i really want to do a video that i know you guys want to see so please put yes down in the comment below so i know that i am in the right as you can see, the ceiling is not white, it's, it's like a gray mixed with blue, green type of color. It's a very weird color. I would say it's a gray, bluish. Going back down, the work is from All Modern, sister company of Wayfair. Is It is a very plush sheepskin very white it's um the white is not showing so much right now on the camera but it's really white it's very beautiful it's very plush very luxurious Safa V is the name of the designer for the walk the coffee table is from you know where Wayfair of course <laughs> um, I don't remember how much I paid for it but it wasn't too expensive the floor arrangement, the vase, the candle holder, the frames, everything is either from Macy's Backstage or Home Goods. The tray on top of the coffee table, I bought it from Z Gallery. It is very shiny, it's really beautiful. My favorite tray in the house, it was more in the expensive side for a tray i think it was 169 dollars something like that i bought it on sale for that price so for me it's a little bit more on the expensive side but it is very luxurious and it did the it does the place good so i'm okay with it as i was editing the video i noticed that i do have a lot of pretty things in this place <laughs> i guess i put a lot of love in there huh as you can see, I did step foot in the store for a couple of items, but, mo but most of the major items were purchased online. So what do you guys think? I wanted to include some tips for online furniture shopping, but the video was becoming too long, so I've decided not to. I want you guys to type the word T-I-P-S, tips, T-I-P-S down in the comment section if you want me to upload the video. Okay guys, I am going to show you one last thing that have uh, been very helpful for me because I have a whole white uh, family um, living room. So I have to make sure I protect it, especially when I have a party or something going on. So I use that gate. It's a pet gate, but I use it to separate my living room, my from my family room, and this room, so this way people does not go in there and drop food and wines whenever we have a gathering going on. I wanted to share it with you because whenever guests come to the house, they see it. They said, "Oh, that's really good. I need to get something like that for my place." I thought you guys would feel the same way. It is a good way to show boundary without saying anything to your guests. And I like the fact that it doesn't give or take away from the place. 
it is a very inexpensive way to put a barrier versus putting a door or anything else that could be more expensive. If you haven't or if you are new to this channel, please be sure to subscribe. And if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. In my next video, I'm going to show you some inexpensive chandelier that I bought to transform the house into a glam masterpiece. Hit the notification bell so you can get the notice as soon as I upload the video on the grand chandelier. I look forward to seeing you until next time. I love you all. I thank you for your time. Bye-bye.